Viscous lidocaine is a medication used to relieve pain and discomfort from a sore throat or mouth. It can also be used to numb the lining of the mouth and throat before certain medical or dental procedures, such as dental impressions. This numbing effect helps prevent the urge to close the throat, which can make the procedure more difficult. Lidocaine belongs to a class of drugs known as local anesthetics. It is important to follow the dosage instructions provided by your healthcare provider and to use it at the optimal time for maximum effectiveness. Before using lidocaine, make sure to read the patient information leaflet provided by your pharmacist. Shake the bottle well before each dose, and use a special measuring device to carefully measure the dose. Do not mix with other liquids or food unless directed by your doctor. This medication is usually used as needed for pain or soreness. For mouth pain, swish the dose in your mouth and then spit it out. For a sore throat, gargle with the medication and then swallow or spit it out, as directed by your doctor. For irritation of the esophagus, swallow the dose as directed. The dosage is based on your medical condition and response to treatment, as well as age and weight for children. Do not increase your dose or use this drug more often or for longer than prescribed, as this can increase your risk of side effects. After applying the prescribed dose to infants and children younger than 3 years, wait at least 3 hours before giving the next dose. This medication numbs the mouth and throat, which may make swallowing difficult and increase your risk of choking. Avoid chewing gum or eating for at least 1 hour after using this product, especially for children. Be careful not to accidentally bite your tongue or mouth. Lidocaine starts to numb the affected area within 5 minutes after use. If the numbness does not occur or does not go away, or if your condition lasts or worsens, be sure to notify your doctor. If you experience mild nausea, stinging, or burning, it's important to let your doctor or pharmacist know. It's also important to remember that this medication has been prescribed because your doctor has determined that the benefits outweigh the potential side effects. Most people using this medication do not experience serious side effects. However, using too much of this medication or being very sensitive to its effects can cause very serious side effects. If you experience dizziness, drowsiness, slow or shallow breathing, mental or mood changes, shaking, seizures, vision changes, ringing in the ears, fainting, pale or bluish skin, unusual tiredness, shortness of breath, or fast-slash-slow-slash-irregular heartbeat, it's important to stop using the medication and seek medical help immediately. While a very serious allergic reaction to this drug is rare, it's important to seek medical help right away if you notice any symptoms of a serious allergic reaction, such as rash, itching or swelling, severe dizziness or trouble breathing. It's important to note that this is not a complete list of possible side effects, so if you notice any other effects, it's important to contact your doctor or pharmacist. If you have any concerns or questions about the side effects of this medication, it's best to consult with your healthcare provider. It's important to note that using lidocaine HCL viscous solution in children younger than 3 years old has resulted in serious, sometimes fatal side effects, such as seizure and slowed-slash-stopped heart. If this medication is prescribed for use by a child younger than 3 years, it's crucial to carefully follow the doctor's directions. It's important not to increase the dose or give this medication more often than directed. Additionally, it's not recommended to use this medication to treat teething pain in infants and young children unless directed by a doctor. It's always best to talk with the doctor about other ways to treat teething pain. And as always, it's essential to keep this product in a safe place away from children. Before taking lidocaine, make sure to inform your doctor or pharmacist if you have any allergies to lidocaine or other anesthetics, or if you have any other allergies. This medication may contain inactive ingredients that can cause allergic reactions or other issues, so it's important to discuss this with your pharmacist. It's also important to let your doctor or pharmacist know about your medical history, especially if you have any cuts, sores, bleeding in the mouth or throat, heart problems, kidney disease, liver disease, or a certain blood disorder called methemoglobinemia. Using too much of this medication or being very sensitive to its effects may cause dizziness, drowsiness, or vision problems. It's important to be cautious, especially when driving or using machinery. Also, avoid alcohol or marijuana, cannabis, while using lidocaine, as they can increase dizziness and drowsiness. If you are planning to have surgery, make sure to inform your doctor or dentist about all the products you are using, 
including prescription drugs, non-prescription drugs, and herbal products. For pregnant women, lidocaine should only be used if clearly needed. It's important to discuss the risks and benefits with your doctor. Additionally, consult your doctor before breastfeeding, as this medication can pass into breast milk, but is unlikely to harm a nursing infant. When using lidocaine HCL viscous solution, it's important to be aware of any potential drug interactions that may affect how this medication works or increase the risk of serious side effects. It's crucial to keep a list of all the products you are using, including prescription slash non-prescription drugs and herbal products, and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. Do not start, stop, or change the dosage of any medicines without your doctor's approval. If you are using other lidocaine products at the same time as this medication, be sure to inform your doctor or pharmacist, as this may increase your risk of serious side effects. It's important to take these precautions to ensure the safe and effective use of lidocaine HCL viscous solution. If someone has taken too much lidocaine HCL viscous solution and is experiencing serious symptoms like passing out or trouble breathing, it's important to seek immediate medical help. In the U.S., you can call 911 or your local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222. In Canada, residents can call a provincial poison control center. Symptoms of overdose may include changes in vision or hearing, severe dizziness or drowsiness, fainting, shaking, seizures, slow or irregular heartbeat, and slow or shallow breathing. This medication is to be used only by the person for whom it was prescribed. Do not share it with others. It is prescribed for your specific condition and should not be used for a different condition unless directed by your doctor. If needed for a different condition, a different medication may be necessary. Lidocaine HCL viscous solution is used to treat throat pain and discomfort caused by irritation or inflammation. It numbs the affected area to relieve pain and discomfort. This medication is typically used every 1 to 3 hours as needed or as directed by your doctor. The dosage is based on your medical condition, age, and response to treatment. It is important to not exceed the recommended dosage or use this medication for longer than prescribed. Always consult your doctor before using this medication, especially if you have any medical conditions or are taking other medications. It is best to take this medication when you experience throat pain or discomfort. It is important to store lidocaine HCL viscous solution at room temperature, away from light and moisture. Do not freeze it or store it in the bathroom. Make sure to keep all medications out of reach of children and pets. When it comes to disposing of this product, do not flush it down the toilet or pour it into a drain unless instructed to do so. Properly discard the solution when it is expired or no longer needed. You can consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for the best way to dispose of it. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA. 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.